What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Christian Hannah Hoare here today, and it's always a fun day when I'm able to just talk about Return of the Living Dead. You guys know it's my all-time favorite horror movie, and I'm becoming, in the last couple of weeks, like, started to build a shrine for Return of the Living Dead. One, two, and three, but I guess, you know, pr probably 65% part one. And, you know, the, what was originally the Jason, Jason Voorhees shelf is now the Return of the Living Dead shelf. We've got the Mount Rushmore of Jason's over here. And I've got two new items that I think were going to look really great on the, the Return of the Living Dead shelf. And let's go ahead and show them. Um, so I made a video uh, talking about my Return of the Living Dead shrine I was working on. And I asked you guys to let me know about cool stuff that is available out there. Because I'm not the most internet savvy person on the world about finding stuff and looking things up. And you guys came through. One of my close friends feels creepy vids. One of, one of my favorite YouTubers has one of the sickest collections on the internet, guys. Great, great guy with a great collection with a, a extreme knowledge about horror movies. I, I go to him when I want to when I want to know about movies all the time. He told me about this company called Amok Times. I've never heard of them. Uh, I don't know what kind of uh, company they are in terms of how big they are or how much stuff they do. But he said. Christian has a Tarman figure that I, I, would look great in your shrine. And I was like, wow. And so I looked this up and I ordered it. This is Amok Time Company. And it says, uh, the first ever Return to Living Dead action figure, Tarman Zombie, features ball jointed neck, shoulders opening jaw, and a display base with trioxin cart, canister, and barrel. So the artwork is really cool on here. Uh, I'm not going to take him out the box, I'm going to keep him as he is. But I thought you guys would enjoy that. Um, it, this is just such a cool piece. I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna keep them like this. Really happy to have this in the collection. Just really cool, right? Uh, this is the Tar Man Amok Time. A M O K. I don't know how you pr pronounce that, you know, particularly, but I just call it Amok Time, I guess. Uh, Tar Man Deluxe action figure. So, really cool. Really, really cool. I like that. And I, I decided. I was like, should I get a you know, I have a Tarman mask that was, I think it was called Raging Zombie FX, and I like them a lot, and I purchased the Tarman from them a long time ago, back in 20, maybe 13. I can't believe that's a long time ago now, that's seven years ago, my goodness. Um, and I was like, should I get the Trick or Treat Studios one, because I do like the way it looks, I've seen videos of it, then I saw that they had this, and I was like, let's get that. So if you guys remember in Return of the Living Dead, there's actually a scene where there's a skeleton that pops his head out of the ground. I was like, what a nice, fun trick-or-treat studio's interpretation of that scene. Obviously, it's a skeleton, so it's like they kind of thickened him up, you know, with this design. It's their interpretation to make a mask of it. But I really like it. I thought it was fun. I thought it would be great to add to the Return of the Living Dead shelf. And I was like, why not? Let's do that, because we have... We have the zombie punk head, the green mohawk, which I love, still my favorite one. We have Tarman in the middle. We've got trash up there. Now we can have the, the, the skeleton, you know, from Return of the Living Dead. So I thought that would be fun, you know. Like I said, it's always fun to get masks from Trick or Treat besides like Myers. Everybody just gets Myers masks. And I was like, why not try to start getting some other stuff from them? And I've actually have another, another mask coming from Trick or Treat Studios that I think is gonna be really cool. So I'm happy with that. The skeleton zombie. So we got the skeleton zombie guys, and we got the uh, tar man figure, and I'm going to set these up. If, if you guys hang tight, I'll show you the shelf. I'll do a little quick video and put some music behind it, and let you guys see how the Return of the Living Dead shelf is looking. So hang tight, guys, and get ready to check it out. Thank you.